welcome back to the combo cabal i am your host brian cook and today we're not playing storm we are in fact playing dredge an all-time classic legacy combo deck that well some people think isn't magic because you're not playing magic in a traditional sense that say that said there's many ways that you can choose to appreciate this wonderful game and you know, exploring options outside of the box is certainly something that I celebrate. So today we're doing exactly that and we're playing the Dredge deck. So the idea is that you want to get cards like this Golgari Thug, if we'll let me ever zoom in, Stinkweed Imp and Golgari Grave Troll to your graveyard. From there, instead of taking a draw, you can choose to Dredge and then the number that it says on the card. So for example, Golgari Grave Troll says Dredge 6. So you mill the top six cards from your library and then you put that card back to your hand. So you're looking to deck yourself essentially and after you've milled a large number of cards you can trigger things like narc amoeba that go from the graveyard to the battlefield if you milled them from your library so that's one card there's also icarid for example but one of the primary things with this deck is bridge from below and enchantment that only works if it's in your graveyard so the idea is that whenever you sacrifice a creature you create a 2-2 zombie creature and we play free sacrifice effects like cabal therapy and then our sideboard dread return to sacrifice creatures to make you know zombies from there we can cast hogak arisen acropolis from the graveyard and then you know discard the rest of our opponent's hand with cabal therapy so we're really looking to be an explosive combo deck that said oh well why don't we talk about what makes it explosive and it's primarily this card right here lion's eye diamond if you watch this channel you know that i'm a big fan of this card i played in the epic storm you know that deck that this channel is named after so with lion's eye diamond it makes three of any color that's interesting well this faithless looting card has flashback for three hmm i wonder if that's an accident so with faithless looting and lion's eye diamond you get to you know dredge a large number of your deck you can flash back the looting after making red man it's beautiful it's also very powerful with breakthrough so you get to discard your hand draw four which means you could dredge four copies of, of golgari grave troll put them back into your graveyard and then flash back this faithless looting to dredge up to 12 more so it really allows for explosive draws but i think Let's get back to the point that I was going to talk about. What makes this like, interesting again is the fact that you get to play Grief from Modern Horizons 2 in conjunction with Cabal Therapy. So now you get that probe therapy interaction that Legacy had back when Gitaxian Probe was still legal in the format. And I think that's really the reason to play this now. You get protected turn one wins with Grief. And by win, I mean you don't actually win the game. There's no way to kill the opponent on the first turn, but you've essentially won the game. And yeah uh i just want to play it again see how it holds up to current legacy and i think that having grief to discard things like endurance will go a long way in the sideboard we have leyline of sanctity leyline of the void i think both of these cards are pretty powerful with how fast legacy has been recently and then we have a small ashen rider dread return package to remove things like ensnaring bridge or whatever but those have sort of fallen out of favor from there, we have Nature's Claim and Chain of Vapors to answer opposing copies of Leyline of the Void and then Firestorm for creature decks like Death and Taxes. I am not a dredge expert. I would like to say that now I've played the deck a handful of times in the last couple of years. I actually used it to help win the third Legacy Premier League back in 2018. But before that, I hadn't played it since the early days, which would have been like 2009, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see if this says the year on it. It does not. Bummer. I'm not going to look it up right now, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and stick around and watch the rest of it. So uh, thanks for being here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first match. We've already opened up quite the insane hand. We have grief, we have faithless looting, a dredger, and a lion's eye diamond. In fact, we have two lion's eye diamonds, which makes this hand even more dangerous. I'm excited to see how it plays out. 
Uh oh. Not a fan of this. Dark ritual. Oh, it's just a Liliana of the Veil. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Discard this Golgari thug. Thank you. All right, let's pop out the graveyard. I'll click on the thug to dredge. And oh my, there's not one, but two bridge from below. So we're going to play out the gemstone mine here. This is going to be pretty sweet. Okay. Let's play the diamond. I'm going to faithless looting. We'll dredge a stinkweed and the troll discard bridge from below stinkweed imp oh no i should have discarded the troll it doesn't really matter that much it's yes i'd like to return the narc amoeba and now we can grief so originally i thought it was going to be cooler because i thought that i could discard the bridge with the lion's eye diamond with the grief on the stack but then i realized that it's just better to looting so it's not going to be as cool as i initially intended for it all right, and now we play Grief, which will create a bunch of zombies here, and the opponent concedes! Turn one victory, like I said in the deck tack! Love to see it. Easy peasy. Okay, uh, so now we need to prepare for Leyline of the Void, so we definitely want the, these pair of Chain of Vapors, as well as the Nature's Claim. And we probably want Leyline of Sanctity as well for discard. So that's a lot of cards coming in. Traditionally, when you're trying to beat the graveyard hate you're supposed to board down on breakthroughs because it's an all-in card so we'll board out a couple of those um 66 i don't think you really need grief in this matchup so you could probably get rid of those and that brings me down to 62 i wonder if i should just shave the careful studies or just board out the last two breakthroughs probably the breakthrough let's try this out and i can always readjust Quite the hand. It doesn't have an answer for Leyline of the Void, but we have our own Leyline. Put Sanctity onto the battlefield. All right, no Leyline of the Void for them. Urborg into Dark Ritual. Dark Confidant, that's fine. They're passing, so we get to do Careful Study into Dredge. Lions Eye Diamond. Tap for a blue. Now we're going to hold the priority key, which is control, cast this careful study, and then add three red. Hopefully we will dredge into a faithless looting. All right, dredge the stinkweed imp. And then the Golgari thug. We did not hit a faithless looting, unfortunately. Discard, discard. Pass the turn. Opponent's pausing. They could have like a surgical, but there's no reason to cast surgical on my end. And they hit the Hogak. <laughs> uh, I can't say that I agree with that choice. I think that Bridge from Below is probably the pick, or even Icarid. But uh, I'm good with their decision. They reveal Marsh Flats to the Dark Confidant. They play a Wasteland. That's fine. They destroy my Gemstone. I didn't need that anyway. We'll go to 18. Icarid triggers. Yes, I would like to bring it back. Let's exile the Bug. Make a draw. Dredge the Grave Troll, trigger a Narc Amoeba, always yes, and then yield to the ability. Fall Therapy, you sacrifice the Narc Amoeba, triggers the Bridge. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to name here. Um, what would a black deck have? So what if they're like, I think worst case scenario, they're not actually Pox, and they're like black, white, uh, dead guy. So I'm going to name Stoneforge Mystic. Toxic. Deluge, life and life and abrupt decay. Okay, get in there. They're gonna take three down to 15 and then the Icarid will die and on their end step, we'll get two more zombies. I'm sorry, one more zombie. I can't count. I was right the first time, please forgive me. They reveal surgical extraction. So that can hit the Icarid this time. That's actually very good for them. Okay, so we lo it looks like we have ourselves a real game here. So they can Surgical the Icarid, they can Abrupt Decay a token, and then on their turn they can untap and Toxic Deluge, which will kill their own Confidant and exile my Bridge from Blows. And they do Surgical the Icarid. Wise play. So this game is anything but one for us. Take a draw. Dredge the Grave Troll. 
We get a therapy, so now I can hit the Toxic Deluge. Swing. They go to six. I want to look at that Siphon card that was in their hand, because honestly, I have no clue what it does. Oh, it's the Retrace one. Okay, and then they conceded the match. Beautiful. 1-0. Quick match. Let's see how fast round number two is. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a Magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Welcome to the second match. We're on the draw, and I actually don't know if this is supposed to be a keep, so you could keep it. Move to clean up immediately, discarding the Golgari Grave Troll. Why won't you let me zoom? Just for once in my life, I'd like this program to work. All right, so Golgari Grave Troll, you could discard that. And then your second turn, you could uh, dredge, discard again. On turn three, you could escape using the Lion's Eye Diamond mana. So it's a turn three doing your first meaningful interaction. I think because of that, I'm going to mulligan. I actually attempted today to record a solidarity, or uh, I'm sorry, a spiral tied league. And it turns out that turnabout is just bugged and doesn't work. I mean, I'm getting very frustrated with this program recently. Uh, so many bugs and things just not working as intended. It happened in my pioneer video as well. <sighs> All right, ranch over. Let's focus on magic. Uh, this hand doesn't function. Mulligan believe that this is a keep. We can get rid of the narco and the careful study. Badlands. Okay. I'd like to draw a black card so that way I can grief therapy. Or I could draw another narc amoeba. I'm going to grief. I believe that our opponent is playing reanimator. I don't want to take a guess on hitting the appropriate reanimation spell. And I say that because everything here is signals in tune. Okay. And they are not on reanimator. They're on some sort of weird control deck. Ah, uh, yikes. Awkward. Remove the cling. Play mana confluence, pass. They play polluted delta, they immediately fetch. Baleful strix. Draw for turn. Stinkweed. I'm going to try to get them to force here. Breakthrough for one. They force pitching Jace, sure thing. Now we can expect an attack from the Baleful Strix. They have Mountain Snapcaster Cling, so they can remove a Dredger once I put one to the graveyard. Mana Confluence. Play a Narco. Land number four, they have three in hand. We still know that one of them is in fact Snapcaster. Maybe. Leg Engineer. A name Illusion. Okay, Snapcaster and one unknown. This would be a great spot to draw a Faithless Looting here. Could really blow our opponent out of the water. Ligari Thug. Play the Thug, I guess. I'm at 12. My life total is starting to look a little bit dicey. Take one, I go to 11. Draw for turn. Grief. I think I'm going to pass the turn for now. Baleful Strix gets in. I go to 10. They have four in hand. Okay, so I'm going to Lightning Bolt myself here going to 7. We're going to hard cast the Grief. And it actually resolves. Wow. They bolt me. I'm at 4. Snapcaster Bolt Strix. That's lethal. I've been burned out by uh, Grix's control. Never thought I'd see the day. Yeah, I mean, they got me. We can go to game two now. Our hand just didn't really play meaningful magic here. They're not a deck that I would expect to have Leyline of the Void, so I'm not going to board in uh, answers to Leyline. In fact, I think I'm going to just resubmit here. Game number two, we're on the play. Not a keepable hand. I guess so. This could go very badly. They have six, so let's play Alliance of Diamond. These usually draw out forces in this matchup, and it did not. They play a Scalding Tarn. In my upkeep, let's add three black. Let that mana go away. 
dredge these think we add three red attempt to flashback faithless looting they're fetching bluster yep cannot pay okay we have to pass on the following turn i can put icarid to play removing the stinkweed and then dredge grave troll main phase brainstorm polluted delta they're passing all right icarid happens remove the stinkweed dredge six attack with the icarid Cabal therapy if I target them, I don't have any dredger, so I maybe I'm supposed to target me, but I'm sort of worried about second right. Maybe I'm being a big baby. All right, let's target myself with the Cabal Therapy. We create two black creatures, which should allow me to play the Hogak as well this turn. They grab a Badlands, a Surgical Bridge. The good one. Okay, we'll name Golgari Grave Troll. Click. Surprise, surprise. Pass the turn. We are not in a good spot here. That surgical uh, sort of crippled our plan. Impressive iteration. They find a Badlands they can play off it. Five cards in hand now. And another surgical on Icarid. Yeah. We're down to only Narc Amoeba, really. Not looking good for the home team. Dredge. Well, we hit a Narco. Not a whole lot we can actually do with it here. Pass. Baleful Strix. Dredge Thug. No point in attacking. In fact, I'm probably pretty close to conceding because the only way that I can realistically win this game now is if I draw land, I dredge the other Thug, and then from there I cast both Thugs into the Hogak and our opponent doesn't have anything. I drew the other land. Okay. Let's play the Golgari Thug. Opponent with seven cards in hand. They play Polluted Delta. Go to 14 life. Jace the Mind Sculptor. And that's going to shut off my Hogak plan. So I'm good to concede here. We got smushed, absolutely demolished by Grix's control. We are one and one. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Let's try that again. Match number three, we are on the play. Blue tree. We have some spice in the room today. This hand is terrific. We will keep. Gemstone mine. Lion's Eye Diamond. That for blue. We're going to hold priority on careful study once again. Sacrifice for triple red. Get a, at least 11 looks at a Faithless Looting. We've already hit one. Draw, or Dredge, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, discard those two, and now we will flash back the Faithless Looting. We already have Quad Bridge from below in the graveyard. No Narc Amoebas yet. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. I am not very good at this. Thankfully, the deck bailed me out by giving me double Narc Amoeba anyway. Who needs skill? when you can just hit what you need. Let's pop out the graveyard. We have enough going on here. Okay, so now we have Narc Amoeba. Let's Cabal Therapy our opponent. We get four zombies. Turn one win, baby, even with my terrible play. Nice. So we're facing a Lutri deck. Hmm. I'm going to disrespect them and just resubmit. You can't stop me. You're you're not controlling the mouse, so deal with it. Game number two, our opponent once again revealed their loot tree. Surprise, surprise, we will keep. While we don't have a one mana spell to allow us to go incredibly fast, we do have this Cephalic Coliseum. Ooh, I just realized I thought I had a dredger. Like I said before, uh, the deck carries me. I am terrible. I could have swore when I first looked at this hand that I had a dredger. I think when I looked at the grief, I thought it was stinkweed. 
I would have mulliganed this had I'd realized. Um, let's see if we can make it work. And if not, I can certainly hard cast some beaters against the graveyard hate. I guess that's a silver line. My opponent has shuffled all the way down to four cards at the moment. Okay, our opponent's ready to begin. They're on four. Misty Rainforest. Can their four card hand beat my accidental keep? Let's find out. Cephalid Coliseum. Play it and pass. Caracas. I guess that does shut off the, uh, the Hogak. The ball therapy. I'm just going to play Narco here. I'm a beatdown deck. It's what we do. They're using the Misty at this point to grab a Volcanic Island. Savannah. They put Lutri to hand, sure. Take a draw. Another Cabal Therapy. I think I'm supposed to attack first. In case of Surgical, let's attack. Get in. Cabal Therapy, you. We'll name Lutri. Fun fact, I own 16 Japanese Fall Lutris because I got them for next to nothing. Alright, so they have Force Fluster Swords. Might as well flash this back. Let's take their Fluster Storm. And then I'm going to therapy them again for their swords because next turn I can hard cast the grief. Okay. Umbop. You did it. Looting. That's going to have to wait because I'm going to play an elemental. I told you I was going to hard cast creatures this game and nobody believed me. Take your force, pass the turn. Who needs dredge creatures? I got this on lockdown. <laughs> All right, let's attack with the grief. Aya. Two mana. For a lightning helix. That is not a card I don't... If you give me 1,000 guesses to the card that our opponent drew this turn, I don't know if I ever would have gotten to lightning helix. All right, let's try to faithless loot. We did not hit a Drudger. Discard the pair of Ecarids. Play Lion's Eye Diamond. I'll take one. And then we can hold priority on Faithless Looting. Add triple red. No Drudger still. Ah, oh, this brings us a third of our way through our library as well. Still no Drudger. <laughs> What are the odds? We have 12 dredgers. We've seen a third of our deck at this point. Absolutely wild. Spiridane off the top. They have a window here if they could find like a spell bomb or something. Tag is not going to do it though. Let's move the graveyard over here. All right, so the first Icarid trigger, we can remove the grief. Second Icarid trigger, I will remove the other Icarid. Then this trigger will fizzle. We'll take a draw. Go to combat. Attack for six. They block with the bird. The bridge dies. I should have thought about that. It's only one bridge. How bad could it be? Okay. We're barely keeping up against the mulligan to four. Maybe I was supposed to just bring the Icarids back and uh, not attack last turn. Should I be using the Cephalid Coliseum? That's another question. Maybe the answer is yes. Let's use it. Target myself. We hit a dredger. I repeat, we have hit a dredger. Okay, and I discarded the grief so that way I had something to remove to the Icarid. So you might be thinking, why not discard the therapy? I wanted something to trigger this Icarid this turn. And now I am going to let that Icarid trigger go. We'll go to draw step. Dredge the Stinkweed. We hit a Nurk Amoeba. Lovely. Now we can attack with the Icarid. We did not hit another Dredger, did we? Therapy, target me. Stinkweed. And that's discarded. Cabal Therapy, the opponent. There's no point in bringing back the Hogak. When our opponent has a Crocus in place, so it's not a play that I'll be making this turn. What could our opponent possibly have here? Um, uh, Force of Negation? It's a card that they could play. Pyroblast. Pass the turn. Our opponent drew a card 
Fought for a really long time and passed the turn, which is pretty interesting. Now they're tapping some mana. Why would you endurance my upkeep? I mean, that was a really good card for you to draw. Incredibly good. We might have just lost. In fact, we very likely just lost. Yep. We lost to the mulligan to four. My bad keep punishes me. Damn. Okay, game three. Submit. Game three, we're on the play. I promise I will try to keep a better hand this time. They have revealed Lutri. No dredger. We're supposed to mulligan. Okay, so we have double grief plus dredger. Keep. Bottom the narco. All right, play out the grief. So now the grief happens. Take their fairy macabre. Play another grief. Target them. Factor fiction whole breacher three lands. Okay. Lion's Eye Diamond. Pass the turn. They play a Scalding Tarn. They sacrifice it immediately for a Tropical Island. Umbop. Discard the Troll. So that means that they can have a turn two Hole Breacher. This was one of the best draws in their deck because of how slow their hand was. And uh, yeah, it's weird, but that really brought them back into this game. Dredge the Grave Troll. Nothing I can do here. Pass. Pop that graveyard out again. So my play next turn is to dredge the Stinkweed and hopefully hit a Narcomy by the trigger of the bridge. Take their Factor Fiction. Our opponent plays Tundra into Sylvan Library. Okay. We'll draw. Dredge the Stinkweed. We did in fact hit a Narcomy, but that was great. We will Therapy them. Take the whole Breacher. And I believe we're supposed to just pass here. I could therapy myself and get rid of the thug, but or I'm sorry, get rid of the grave troll, but I don't think that's where I want to be. The opponent doesn't pay any life and then plays Caracas. Factor fiction. Surgical versus the other four. We put the other four to graveyard as I expected. Let's see what they take with the surgical. That was a brutal hit. The thug, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to slow dredge and beat the Uro. I think I've lost this game. So I can Cabal Therapy myself and discard the Grave Troll. I just don't think I'm capable of beating the Uro. I guess I should attack for two before I do anything else. So let's get in there. We'll put them to 15. Here's another thought. Should I even bother? Like... Is my out here drawing a Lion's Eye Diamond for the Ox of Agonis rather than dredging? Because I know that I can't beat the Uro. I'm going to pass. They have Flooded Strand. And Uro has entered the battlefield. Alright, I have three diamonds left, 41 cards. Alright, uh, I've lost this one. I'm going to concede. <sighs> it's been tough. Like, I realize that there's some other decisions I could have made. Like, I could have discarded this Factor Fiction. But our opponent gets to look at the top three cards of their deck every single turn. How often do those two other cards matter while time-walking themselves to play this expensive four-mana card? They happen to hit the Surgical. Like, that stinks. But I don't know if I should have discarded that. Like, that doesn't seem like a card that mattered here. But I was certainly punished. There's also some other small things that I could do to gain a larger... Uh, percentage like I'm not used to playing dredge so bear with me but uh, I feel like perhaps I could have done something a little bit better this match and uh, this could have been a victory so it's kind of tough to uh, swallow that but uh, yeah we're one and two two matches left to go if you're still watching make sure to give this video a like comment and subscribe while you're near the description here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from amazon card hoarder or tcg player just above those affiliate links you'll find our social channels make sure to join those to connect with us match number four we're on the draw the sand is unplayable mulligan um i think this is probably fine get rid of the second copy of Icarid. Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth. Elvish Reclaimer, sure thing. 
Of course, we draw Narc Amoeba. Delightful. Careful study. Okay. Discard Stinkweed and the Icarid. Pass the turn. So I could go Lion's Eye Diamond, Faithless Looting right now, but the Elvish Reclaimer could get a main deck Bajooka Bog and really put me in the dirt. If I hide that I have Breakthrough, Lion's Eye Diamond, Faithless Looting, perhaps there's a chance that they tap out on their turn and I am able to dredge most of my deck. Okay. No. We will dredge the Stinkweed. We hit Narc Amoeba. Am I supposed to play into them assuming that they don't have a main deck bog? I feel like that's kind of silly. I will pass the turn. They use the Reclaimer. Very dark depths. That stage. They're just going to copy immediately. The disrespect. Okay. So now I don't have to play around Bajooka Bog anymore. No blocks. They have five in hand. Icarid, we will remove the grief. Draw for turn. I could choose to play around Endurance right now by sacrificing the Cabal Therapy, but I don't want to. Because I want that to make more zombies later. Ouch. We're going to hold priority, cast the Breakthrough. Okay, and then sacrifice this for Triple Red. Dredge Stinkweed Imp. Dredge the Thug. Dredge Thug. And another thug. Discard. Always yes. And now I can bring back the Ox of Agonis. Let's remove some lands. Breakthroughs. Careful study. Click done. Dredge. 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 Yes. Okay, so therapy targeting you, discard the Icarid, or sacrifice the Icarid, I mean. Always yes, the bridge. So we have one bridge in the bottom four cards. We'll say crop rotation, shadow spear, sacrifice, a Narc Amoeba. Two should be plenty. We'll name shadow spear this time. Assassin's Trophy probably doesn't matter. Therapy you. Sacrifice the Ox of Agonis. We'll name the Assassin's Trophy. And they have Reclaimer, Living Wish, Thoughtsea. Well, Therapy will go down to one Narc Amoeba. We'll name the Elvish Reclaimer. Ooh, I, I could have done this better. I could have... Uh, Played and sacrificed the Hogak a couple times instead of losing all my creatures. Sorry, I am not used... Well, I uh, cancel. I am not used to this. Uh, sorry, I'm still trying to figure this out. Yeah, I could have done this better. I could have had more creatures in play. Okay, so now the Hogak is on the battlefield. I'm going to pass the turn. Lotus Petal. And they found the mana source for Sajiri step. We're dead. Damn. So close. Ah, that's defeating. Okay. Game two. Probably want the Chain of Vapors. I question how good Grief actually is in this matchup, but I don't know if they play Endurance, and it can always hit something like Surgical. Also, like, I don't think Icarid is that good in the matchup, but it does... Give you creatures to bring back. So that's always nice. Also, like, Dread Return, Ashen Rider is pretty good in the matchup. Like, you could probably board out the Hogak. It's not great here. And I think I'm going to try just boarding out the Icarids, as crazy as that is. Submit. Yeah, hand is good. Keep. All right, they mulligan to three. I'm going to Cabal Therapy targeting myself. Golgari Grave Troll. Discard the troll. And apparently I clicked OK one too many times. So in my second main phase, I'll play out the diamond. Pass the turn. They thought sees targeting me. Likely the chain of vapor is going to leave. Goodbye, chain. 
dredge dredge the grave troll we hit faithless looting and an arc amiibo so that's great let's make three red and flashback faithless looting dredge the grave troll and then the thug discard discard yes yes might as well therapy them always yield we'll name vampire hex mage crop rotation dark depth so let's take that crop rotation crop rotation discarded now they just have dark depths i could sacrifice the narc amoeba i just don't see the need to remove my ability to fight back against the merit lodge like let's say they rip vampire hex mage here would i rather have two zombies in play or something that can block okay so now we get the drudge again the ashen rider is already in the graveyard if we can find the uh the dread return get in for five it is not possible for our opponent to make a merit lodge on our end step so i'm pretty good to just swing out here past the turn the opponent concedes so it looks like we're going to game three i think i want ley lines on the draw get rid of the griefs Although grief is really good for hitting crop rotation. Maybe I'll board down on breakthrough and be less all in. Get rid of like one grief. Probably bastardizing the sideboard plan here, but hey, I'm the one clicking. This is an odd one. We don't have a dredger, but uh, the hand could be very good. I want to kept seven. I'm going to keep it. Feel free to get mad at me in the comments. Dark depths they pass take a draw see i don't know why you didn't just trust in my ability to always be correct uh and i've never made a misplay before in my life uh it's just the way it is full priority on this breakthrough add some red mana dredge the imp dredge thug dredge thug dredge stinkweed discard all of these Narc Amoeba triggers. Yes. I think I'm supposed to do looting first. Dredge the Stinkweed. Dredge Stinkweed. Discard, discard. Yes. Ox of Agonis. Remove eight. Okay. The Ox will trigger. Stinkweed. Stinkweed. Grave Troll yes did i not hit the uh the dread return it appears that i did not and it's in the bottom eight i guess we'll have to settle for a whole bunch of cabal therapies okay vampire hex mage endurance <laughs> and the opponent concedes and we got a match win we're two and two leyline of sanctity for the win boom let's win match number five with Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. The fifth and final match, we're on the draw. We have a dredger, we have faithless looting lines. I don't, what more could you want? This hand is great. We'll keep. Windswept Heath, Basic Forest, a Wild. Are we facing Enchantress? Oh my! All right, Wild Therapy. You are Gothian. No such luck. Okay. Pass the turn. They played the Sith into Utopia Sprawl. They have four in hand. We draw Narc Amoeba, not really what we wanted. Okay, I think we're supposed to just try to do our thing now. Make it red. Drawing the Narco was obviously very bad. And we'll sack for three red. I wanted to get one turn to have the uh, the Cephalocalcium in play with the ability to use it on the following turn. Instead of just doing everything up front on turn one. Obviously this was not great for us. Flashback the looting. Dredge the troll. And another troll. Discard, discard. No Narc Amiibos in sight, we have to pass. What can you do, Enchantress? You have five in hand. 
six mana for a Sterling Grove. They sacrifice the Grove. Okay. For an Elephant Grass, they play Evacuation into the Grass. It's going to be tough for us to beat. We don't have uh, the main deck Dread Return package, so it's actually pretty brutal. And they have Sterling Grove, so I think we're actually just locked here. I'm going to pick it up. Unfortunate. Okay, um, we definitely need Nature's Claim and Chain of Vapor. We want the Dread Return package, and I'm not sure what I accidentally decided in. All right, so three Nature's Claims, two Chain of Vapor is five. Rider would be six. Dread Return is seven. The math adds up. Maybe it was just like a delay click. Okay, so we have to take out some cards versus Enchantress. Once again, I don't think we need the Hogak. We can get rid of that. I kind of like the idea of having Grief in my deck, but maybe it's just wrong. Or maybe Breakthrough's wrong in this matchup because we have to be able to beat all of their uh, stuff. So, like, we want to lean more on the Faithless Looting type starts. Oh, like, boarding out Faithless Looting on the play just seems so wrong. I'm going to try no Icarids again. At 63. Guess we'll board down two grief and one breakthrough. Let's try this. On the play. Wish I could keep this. Mulligan. Is this acceptable? So you do have a reasonable hand. Put the imp back. Yeah. Play a line of the void. That's what I was worried about. Pass the turn. We have five outs in our deck. Savannah, Wild Growth, City of Brass. I don't think I'm supposed to play out the Thug. They play the Enchantress. We'll take a draw. Another Thug. Pass the turn. Abundant Growth. There is Sanctum. They have six mana now. Excavation. Enchantress's Presence. I feel like I've already lost this. Also, what a matchup. This is like a 2009 matchup for sure. Not so common in today's era. And I'm just getting absolutely destroyed. They play a Misty Rainforest. They activate it. Pick up a basic. Utopia Sprawl. And now they're at the point where every enchantment they cast, it makes two draw triggers. So they're just full-fledged ahead. I'm actually just dead to a Sterling Grove if they find one. Another Abundant Growth, and another Abundant Growth, sure. 12 mana. And there's the Sterling Grove, I can pick it up. We got demolished. So this was a two and three league, not the best result. So let's be completely honest here. I could have played this league better. No doubts there. Uh, that said, Dredge feels like a tough sell in the current metagame. There's a lot of Leyline of the Void running around. Endurance is increasingly popular future reanimator and well even doomsday so it feels like dredge is a deck that's hit by a lot of side hate in the past when people ran graveyard hate was for dredge and now a lot of that hate is just incidentally good against dredge so would i recommend this for your upcoming local legacy challenge or whatever it depends if your goal is having fun this deck is a blast and i really do mean that uh, yeah, if you're just looking to have fun, it's great. But if you're looking to win that event, I would maybe consider something else. Uh, it's not that it, it's not that Dredge is not capable of winning an event. It's just a much taller ask. Anything's possible, but you want to maximize your percentages for success, that sort of thing. Uh, that's what I've got. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I didn't play as well as I could have, but hey, sometimes you have an off day. Keep storming, all that good stuff. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.